Thank you for visiting Annie Electronics. The type of capacitance associated with PN junction diodes was discussed in our previous video. Our topic for this episode is the resistances that the PN junction diode offers both in forward and in reverse bias mode. Let us review what resistance is. The simplest definition of a resistance is to refuse to be influenced by something that prevents or slows us down. Resistance in electronics refers to what opposes current flow. Resistance is measured by dividing the voltage drop across a resistor by the current flowing through it. It is measured in ohms. Now let's look at the diode resistance in more detail. The diode resistance can be defined as the resistance that a diode offers to the flow of current through it. We learned in episode 9 the switching characteristics of a PN junction diode, that while in forward biased mode, it provides a large amount of current while in reverse biased mode, it provides a negligible amount of current due to the reverse saturation current. Now the question is, how does a diode provide resistance? The barrier potential acts like a barrier or wall, preventing charge carriers from moving. Furthermore, as the current flows through the diode, the carriers collide with one another and the atoms, causing a loss of energy in the form of heat. Therefore, the depletion region and the atoms in diode offered resistance. With an increased forward bias voltage, the width of the depletion region shrinks. A diode begins to conduct once it crosses a certain threshold voltage or knee voltage. However, the depletion region cannot completely disappear. It remains thin. The resistance provided by the depletion region in forward bias is called forward resistance. We can see static or DC resistance and AC or dynamic resistance in forward bias mode. Static or DC resistance occurs when the PN junction diode is applied with a forward DC voltage. This type of circuit has a single direction of current flow. RF the static or DC resistance is determined by the ratio of the forward DC voltage across the diode to the DC current flowing through it. From the forward characteristic curve, you can measure static resistance as follows. Dynamic or AC resistance refers to the resistance the PN junction diode offers whenever the AC voltage is applied in forward bias. Unlike DC circuits, AC circuits do not have a single direction of current flow. They flow in both directions. The dynamic or AC resistance is defined by the ratio of the change in AC voltage across the diode to the change in AC current through it, denoted by RF. The slope value, as described in the animation, can be used to measure dynamic or AC resistance. A PN junction diode's reverse resistance is what it offers when it undergoes reverse bias. As the reverse bias voltage is increased, the depletion region becomes wider. The depletion region has therefore blocked a significant amount of charge carrier flow. Therefore, a reverse biased PN junction diode offers an extremely high resistance to the electric current. By comparison, the reverse resistance ranges in the mega ohm range compared to forward resistance. We will begin a new topic in our upcoming video. Please don't forget to like the video. This will motivate us a lot. Till then happy learning.